shaking the whole house as it started clawing my toes. <laughs> Blood was all over the floor. <laughs> and, <laughs> and to this day, my feet ache and are sore. <laughs> It was it was growling very aggressively. And as my screaming got louder, my wife called the police. <laughs> it scattered across the floor running from me. Another message from Tails Doll saying, Can you do the sunshine? <laughs> Can you feel the tension? I immediately turned off the PlayStation 3 and used my laptop to go on the PSN forums. I made a thread about my message encounter with the Tails doll. Users were replying that they also reported getting messages after playing Sonic R with Tails doll. <laughs> lies! <laughs> filthy, filthy lies! No one else has ever played Sonic R! Yeah. An administrator deleted the thread calling it nonsense. Well, because you're talking about a Sega Saturn game! <laughs> it was 10 I am going to kill your friends to show them that they are fools. Sincerely, Dadon! <laughs> yes, killing them will surely teach them a valuable lesson in life. There was a little blood stain where the doll was red. I think I should say was written. <laughs> I closed my eyes in horror as it was killing innocent people. It, ca <laughs> it came back saying, Are you happy knowing you can feel this? <laughs> <laughs> It, it got a huge machete from somewhere and was ready to kill me as well. For the same place he keeps finding the paper. And and the knives. Knives. I locked the door and dropped down from the window. <laughs> With luck, I landed on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was lucky. I might have flown away. <laughs> You're so lucky that the only possible outcome is what happened. Fell out my window and it just suddenly become a bird. Oh, well, thank God gravity's still up, Ed. You never know. It was Tuesday. Everyone knows that's the day that we rip, we rip out the concrete and replace it with pastry. <laughs> the cave was nearby, so I walked towards it. I could hear a gurgled cry and I was getting kind of scared. Maybe this was a glitch. I walked inside the cave, it's a glitch, isn't and it? it was pitch black on the other side. I walked towards the darkness and I saw a dead body. It resembled Hitler. <laughs> I thought this was weird. <laughs> yeah, don't say no, it. Beta this must be really fucking buggy. That's that's um. That's what beta testing's for. That's the whole pasta, right? Yeah, beta testing's just for removing Quick, Hitler. We can't we can't release this to the public. It has Hitler's ghost in it. <laughs> Holy shit! Right, someone explain. Spooky spaghetti. Presents. Someone, someone please explain to me what the fuck that was about. I know it was a fish man. Creepy. I had a creepy, creepy. Pokemon noun: a small animal that is kept in a ball. <laughs> oh man. I can't believe two people are watching the same screen. It's so small. Oh, is, it's is, is okay. he crying? Are you crying? You big girl. It's okay. It's just a children's game. It's I lost Bulbasaur in my closest friend. <laughs> <laughs> he died. <laughs> my God, he's actually crying. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, I'm obviously fine. not. Absolutely fine. Just smashed up all of the games ever, ever. Because yeah, yeah, I'm absolutely fine. I had a great afternoon. It's a great game called Smashing Pokemon. <laughs> smashing, smashing. Yeah, it's like I got bored of this game when I found out they were all the same, and you know, for children. Right, this is a psych ward, ladies and gentlemen. I like the fish tank. Everyone, take a look at the fish tank. What? Is that a photoshopped fish tank it or is. After Effects fish tank? I thought I was just having a small seizure. <laughs> no, it's really there. Sorry, hang on. Are they in a mental how pay you know, are they in a mental asylum now? Yes. So it's Is it him happens. that's in the mental asylum? Yeah, it is, it is. <laughs> My brother went crazy, so or I went to mental Smashing up Pokemon games. Did Nintendo send him there? <laughs> how you doing, babe? You right, I uh I thought it'd be nice for you to have some familiar things from home. I brought you pillows, so I didn't wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, 
Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Thanks for not coming there, yeah, you, you wanna bitch. Give me a kiss or something? No. Yeah. No, son, you're insane. I don't want to catch your crazy. How can I refuse this request? So we'll make he it then sent out Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> well, cheers, guys. Oh, more epilepsy. Thank you. Now you're gonna go for it. <gasps> Sorry, did I miss and then something? Something happened for some reason <laughs> that caused this. I like that we had narration over all the stuff that was easy to understand, and then when it just goes batshit insane. <gasps> what the fuck was that? <laughs> it, it looks like a poorly drawn picture just over spliced some oh my God. static. I've been waiting so long. To show you guys, and I'm really, really excited now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I waited like a week to show you to that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh god, these, these cursed things, I want to get rid of them so bad. In the bin you go, gently! <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> I really hope so, like, that the neighbor's like, the <laughs> fuck's <laughs> wrong there? See a neighbor going past with a bike. It's raining! It's raining, darling! Put on some pants! <laughs> <laughs> this dreary motherfucker here. That's, that's what you write about being Twilight. It's like, oh, you know what? It's clearly every woman on the, every like teenage girl on the planet has had some kind of joint lobotomy. <laughs> and he's going, oh, do you know what would be great? Somebody who just dribbles everything he says. <sighs> Has a face like a spade. <laughs> the hell was I? <laughs> who cares? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, honestly, anyone really give two shits. That's the app. Today's story is Sonic.exe. Dun, dun, dun. I have never heard of this before in my entire life. Oh yeah, it's really obscure, this one. If you'd like to play along with us, we're drinking right now. And uh, every time we see, every time we see the words red, blood, or black, take a drink. And if you happen upon the phrase hyper realistic, take three drinks. So go. I took a nap. <laughs> I, I wish I hadn't, because I then began to have the most disturbing nightmare. I was in pitch black. <laughs> I was in pitch black. What the film? Vin Diesel. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> Darkness. Though I was under the light given off by a lamp, so you weren't in the Patreon darkness, <laughs> that hung high above my head. I could hear the cries of knuckles and tails nearby. They were saying stuff like, Help us! And, Why did you give us to him? And, <laughs> Run away before he gets you! <laughs> <laughs> Their cries died out as I then heard Sonic laugh. His laugh. It sounded a lot like the distorted Kefka laugh. Doesn't everything in this story <laughs> sound like a distorted Kefka laugh? Or something from other games? <laughs> Flickering in and out in several directions. You can't run, kid. You're in my world now. <laughs> Just like the others. He's <laughs> Sonic Scottish. Why not? <laughs> when he grabbed me and I saw his bleeding... <laughs> Whoa, snake. Black. Ooh. And red-eyed, grinning face, I woke up with a fright. We can put the counter on this. After a couple of hours, I decided to continue playing the game. <laughs> I, I had a disturbing dream about it. I thought, why not? If you get through the entire trauma, you get better on the other end. That's how psychology works. Hell. <laughs> 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 Isn't that what we're doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> we could stop if we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I had Robotnik continue onward. After about four or five uh, steps, he had a stitch because he's so fucking fat. <gasps> he did his usual running animation. You his know, usual running animation. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. He pulls out a pastry and starts <laughs> eating. <laughs> at, at the end of a classic Sonic game and you chase him as... <laughs> I noticed that the walls have gotten darker. Wait, 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 it's not. Uh, and more reddish. Yeah. yeah. The red! <laughs> really? Torches are now an eerie blue. Another colour! <laughs> Woo! Da, 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 da. <laughs> the image! 
showed up hyper realistic. Uh, three shots, guys. <sighs> oh. Oh. Of, the image showed hyper realistic of Sonic standing in the darkness where you can only see his face while his head and torso faded into black. Oh, shit. And when I say hyper realistic, ah! <laughs> you bastard. Oh. It's not me, honest. I'm not, no, I'm yelling at the person who wrote this. I hate you. I uh, mean, he looked so real. You could actually see the pixel. You could actually see the lines in his blue fur as if you could actually feel the fur if you touched a screen, which you couldn't because you're a fucking moron. Suddenly, in an actual split second, I screamed as Sonic lunged at the screen, screeching loudly with his mouth wide open with an unnatural length, revealing nothing but literally spiralling a piece of pure darkness before Red started game again. <laughs> and please put some comments in your sentences next ah! time. I don't, we don't want to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> his heart just stopped quick. <laughs> don't want to kill our lanky reader. This time, much louder and distorted. So loud that they heard my ears. I yelled and grabbed my ears as the red static screeched for a good seven seconds. Holy Nether said, People who hate this creepypasta can get a life. Ready for round 666? What? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Holy Nether. I don't understand why the fuck everybody's hating on this. There's nothing wrong if the writing. Hardly any grammar errors, just WTF <laughs> people. <laughs> Hardly any crap. Is it really that bad? What do you mean the way he keeps shifting in time? <laughs> For God's sake, people can be immature assholes sometimes. I mean, really. And the response by Kassar. What? You're kidding, right? This pastor was far from good. Just because there are no grammar errors, there are fucking loads. Doesn't make it any less poor writing. It has a ton of cliches, an idiotic protagonist, and... A terribly bad plotline. It was a failure at being an original work. So yeah, it was really that bad. <laughs> a cardboard box, and on it stood the GameCube with accessories. What? On it stood the GameCube. So it, it was wasn't on in, top. It wasn't in the box. <laughs> he didn't know it, how to pack. How silly! You thought it was in the box. <laughs> That's the real scare. I took down the box and packed it up. I found many games I remember that I played when I was younger, but what caught my attention was Mario Sunshine. I brought the game in the console and connected up it to my TV. I was worried that it would not work, for the console was so dusty. But it's because you didn't put it in a fucking box, you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> you just it on top of the fucking box! But when I started, it worked fine, except that it sounded a bit more than what I remembered it would, but it did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's. I, I don't know what just happened. Words <laughs> came from you, but they didn't mean anything. It's like, I know what those words mean, but not in that order. Do you have some sort of cipher for me to decode what you just. <coughs> are you trying to sneak this past the Germans or something? What did you just say? Peach spat out blood, and then there was the screen black. I could not move. I was frozen with fear and shock. After five minutes, I was able to touch me. <laughs> <laughs> I found it! <laughs> I found it so hot! Wait! <laughs> After five minutes, I discovered masturbation! <laughs> I finally found my kinking oh life! My Choking shit. chicks! <coughs> this story is absolutely bamboozling me. <laughs> I took Mario Toy and Super Mario Sunshine game and they threw in the woods. I threw Mario Toy and Super Mario game in woods. Oh. <laughs> it's like he's a fucking caveman! <laughs> Jesus! It may have been my imagination, but I thought I saw a figure with a red hat and red <laughs> clothes who was watching me behind a tree. Red hat, my clothes, <laughs> figure, stand by tree. Oh. There was no one out there, but it's in a box. <laughs> I took no thing. What? On the box it said, from Mario. I opened the box, there was Mario toy that I have just thrown away, and a Mario disc, but it was not Super Mario Sunshine. Instead, it was Mr. Bloodshine. <coughs> and during the game, there was a note on it. Was what we said, it will get worse. That's the end. <laughs> That's the end. I like, could one of you two please tell me, like, because I have happened? I have a few questions about this. So oh, I, I'm sure we all right, do. Matt, if you could 
just from the beginning, just walk me through it. <laughs> right. Apparently, <laughs> someone's about to tell you a story, but then you fell down a long flight of stairs, <laughs> but they kept trying to tell you the story. <laughs> A young boy states that he survived one of the killer's attacks and bravely tells his story. Who would like to voice the boy? Bravely is also too strong of a word. I had a bad dream! And it was in the middle of the night! <laughs> says the boy. I saw that for some reason the window was open, even though I remember it being closed before I went to bed. I got up! Shut it up once more! Afterwards I simply crawled from under my covers and tried to get back to sleep. That's when I had a strange feeling. It was like someone was watching me. <laughs> I looked up and nearly jumped out of my bed. There, in the little ray of light, looming between my curtains, there were a pair of two eyes. These were regular eyes! Not two eyes! <laughs> God, why doesn't he have three like a normal person? <laughs> is, is this why he managed to survive? It's because his nice and so fucking and it's so annoying. The killer yeah. just fucked <laughs> off when he was asleep. Fuck that noise. Oh god, it's, it's, the picture of his voice has shattered my knife. <laughs> <laughs> they were dark on my eyes. They were bordered in black and just plain out terrified me. That's when I saw his mouth, a long horrendous smile that made my hair on my body stand up. The figure stood Happy there watching me. Oh, compared to that thought, the hair on his chair. <laughs> Finally, after what seemed like forever, he said a simple phrase. But only a way that a madman could speak. He said, Go to sleep! <laughs> <laughs> I let out a scream. And that's what I said to him. What? And that's what sent him at me. He pulled up a knife, aiming at my heart. Pulled it up like a car. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I don't know about you, but I, I've never seen any sort of like little boy talk like this. They're all just like, I had my window. A killer! <laughs> yeah, uh, I really hope no little boys talk like you do. Yeah! <laughs> but I don't know what little boy talks about all his body hair, to be honest. <laughs> body parts? <laughs> I know. Oh, hey, I'm just going through puberty. I might as well explain that in great detail. <laughs> he came at me with a knife, and suddenly I noticed there was hair where there was no hair before. Uh. He jumped on top of my bed. I fought him back. I kicked. I punched. I rolled around trying to knock him off me. That's where my dad busted in. Oh, wow! Busted it! <laughs> you know. He went through the wall like oh, the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> Jeff and his brother, I don't know, Lou, I think that says. Lou! Couldn't complain, though. <laughs> A new, better house. Oh, uh, Jeff, I hope you don't mind. I got this kid off of Filipino. I just stole him off the street, so... <laughs> his mum, Angelina yourself. Jolie, had brought another kid home. <laughs> What's to do? Asked Jeff as he stirs awake. Well... Come on. Couple of love this couple of <laughs> couple of words after asked were into stirs. Why? It's Billy's party. Oh. He was now fully awake. Come on. Mum, you're joking, right? You don't expect me to go to some yeah, kids laugh, some kids party after There was a long pause. Jeff, we both know what happened. I think this party could be the thing that brightens up the past days. What? Now, get dressed. Don't worry. You know that your your brother's your brother's been sent to I don't know kid prison is probably being vigorously bummed. Going to a birthday party for a ten year old. Yay! Don't worry about hashtag useless child. He thought, why would they ever wear such fancy clothes to a kids party? Uh, son, is that all you're going to wear? Said Jeff's mum as she threw her car keys in the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Better than wearing too much, he said. I think I shit myself. His, his mother pushed down the feeling to yell at him and hid it with a smile. Passive aggressive mum. <laughs> no wire hangers. <laughs> oh, Jeff, we may be overdressed, but this is how you go if you want to make an impression. Said his father, who couldn't speak proper English. <laughs> Jeff grunted. <laughs> I'm just so angry. <laughs> Jeff's father is known for speaking an alien language that nobody can understand. Jeff grunted and went back up to his room. I don't have any fancy clothes, he yelled downstairs. You never bought me anything, you bastards. <laughs> just pick All your money went to the Asian kid. <laughs> the one you thought was going to be a doctor. <laughs> 
Just pick something out. Call his mother. I'm not wearing one of Lou's kimonos. <laughs> <laughs> Question. About, like, about two days ago, didn't he break his uh, hand or something like that? So, like, she, like, so I immediately grabbed his other arm, I grabbed his arm and just kept squeezing on the broken bone. Kids were screaming and parents were running out of the house. Troy and Keith both... Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait. Oh, come on! Troy and Keith both pulled guns out of their pockets. This won't backfire in any way later. Good thing we're wearing masks. Wait. Obviously. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How old are these? Like, 10, 11? And they can fucking find guns? America. How? America is apparently... Yes, we're... We live in America, where anyone over the age of one can own a gun. I buy a fucking pack of cereal, he's a free gun with that shit. Jesus Christ! Yeah. This story is bullshit! Fuck! No one interrupts or guts will fly! Oh, shut the from, fuck up! They said- From pistols?! <laughs> really, like, once again, escalation! It's like, I'm gonna beat- We're gonna- We're either gonna be allowed to beat him up, or we're gonna murder someone, and then everything will be fine! Jeff glances up, his face riddled with blood. I was the one who got your brother sent to JDC, and now you're just gonna sit here and let him rot in there for a whole year. Ooh, yeah, you should be ashamed! Uh, I, 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 uh, first of all, the dialogue, uh, this is dialogue from like a commando or so, like some Schwarzenegger film. Also, he's like, yeah, I managed to get your brother put in jail. Now after this, he'll still be in jail. Oh wait, oh my God, I'm such a fucking idiot. Oh, what have I done? I've ruined my fucking life. He grabs the towel rack and rips it off the wall. Troy and Keith race in, naives. Shit, how strong is this kid? Yeah, I know. The pile drive another child. Troy swings his knife at Jeff, who backs away and bangs the towel rack into Troy's face. Troy goes down hard. Ha! Ah, I get it. It's funny because oral sex. <laughs> And now all that's left is Keith. He is it's a bit easy because his name's Keith. He is more agile than Troy though, and ducks when Jeff swings the towel rack. He dropped the knife and gr oh, we're back in the past tense. He dropped the knife and grabbed Jeff by the neck. He pushed him into the wall. A thing of bleach, f really? Oh come on! You don't even know what it is. You know when you're shopping for the family, like sh a, a bottle, one gallon. Uh, 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 oh man, they sell it in things. <laughs> I don't know the thing. I just imagine like it could be anything. Like, oh, this new special thing bleach packs could be anything. Could be a teapot. Could be a teddy bear. We don't know. A thing of bleach fell down on top of him from the top shelf. It burnt both of them because apparently they keep industrial strength bleach in their home. Yep. Because regular bleach wouldn't actually do that. And they both for those who don't know, the Proto Men are a rock opera group that is loosely based off of the Mega Man series. Okay, already I'm not interested. Oh, yeah, oh. fascinating. I recently bought The Proto Men Act 2 Father of Death on CD and on iTunes, both backing each other up. But before I go further, my name before is... Before I throw more money down the drain. <laughs> my name is Axel. Yes, I am indeed a girl. I wouldn't have thought of it. No, I was thinking Guns N' Roses or the guy from Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> my name may seem otherwise, and go ahead, make your Mega Man X jokes. Um, no, again, no. Guns N' Roses was exactly the joke I was going to make. I have, I've more. never played the Mega Man X series. I should, because I've heard they're really good, but I, I really like the classic Mega Man games, but I've never got into the, the ones. Um, I actually got a copy of Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> Stop trying to make your own creep faster and the creep faster. <laughs> oh god, it's collapsing in on itself. Any hoozle. Not a word. That's what it actually says. I've been enjoying the first... Also, well, someone from the Dr. Seuss school of uh, writing. <laughs> the first proto... Never use Dr. Seuss and a writer from Creepypasta wiki in the same sentence oh, again. Oh, wait, for the cat in the hat, Creepypasta. I've been enjoying the first Proto Man album. When I thought it was time to move on to Act 2, okay, I enjoyed the vocals and story of the first, so I was challenging Act 2. What is she even saying? I only took Du Vendetta from Night of Queen. Is this supposed to make sense? Because it's the epilogue of the first album, Live. My favourite was Unrest in the House of Light. It was the first song from them I listened to. Little did my parents I know. No idea. Like, stop name dropping all this bullshit and actually try and tell a story to people. This was just an intro to the band that gave me crazy ideas. Crazy wonderful ideas. It's just, it is really getting like Dr. Seuss now, isn't it? <laughs> 
<laughs> a wonderful, awful idea. Ideas that put my mind to work. No, that's a lie. I took my laptop off of its charger. So it's on top of it. And Damn it! Started typing away. I copied lyrics, memorized them, recited them, sang them, everything. Oh yeah, that's really creative. Surely yeah. your your mind is working now. You, you managed to do a cover. Congratulations, you're the first in history. Can I just go backtrack here? They just established she never left the room. Yeah. What's she about to do? After two weeks, I finally came out. Yeah, so she came out finally. She came out of her room after two weeks. After two weeks, her parents weren't like, uh, it's been in there for like a day and a half now. They think you should do something about that. Like When she came out, were her parents like, where have you been? Oh, Jesus Christ, you stink. Make sure she's not dead. As well, I love this. I never came out of my room. After two weeks, I came out of my room. Okay, your definition of never and mine is quite different, isn't it? I finally came out, same clothes, same messy hair. I did take showers and change clothes in between. I saw my father holding a knife right when I exited the large bathroom. He smiled and dropped the knife beside him. Oh, Axel, my father sighed and smiled. I was about to... That's why I gave you that name. I was about to check on you, dot dot dot, to see if you were alive. I rolled my eyes behind my hair. The knife sounded like it had no reason. Why? What does that mean? What does that sentence mean? The knife sounded like it had no reason. Eight words that make no fucking sense when you put them together. What the fuck? You've never had a re conversation with a knife. This one se se seemed to have a reason to go into the bathroom with him. But I had my laptop and he noticed the big sticker on it. It was from my bottle rocket club that I did after school. What? Where is this coming from? <laughs> Where's this going? I don't know. I put it on there for memories of my first year in public school. It dropped. My oh. father went to pick it up, and I did too. But I picked up the knife, I took the sticker from him, stuck it on, and charged at my father. What? I, I killed him. Well, that escalated quickly. There you go. Just as Emily was killed. What? Who's Emily? What's going on? I don't know! I couldn't tell how Joe was killed. <laughs> Help me! So I used this to symbolise Emily. What? Ah! I have no idea. Uh, am I having a stroke? Can someone please check on me? I think I've actually just given myself a fucking hernia. Ah! God! Right. Oh my goodness. Did someone delete certain pages of this? I think so, just bro. My whole family is afraid of me now. I can't kill them uh since I only know of Emily's death. I want no one to oppose me. No one to break my glass. <laughs> It's because it's, it's got milk in it, you know? <laughs> and I like milk. This soon will become the society. What? I will even make Wiley's society look like a non existent <laughs> heaven. I already made a big slaughter. Link in the description, guys. I swear to God, I'm not making yeah. this up. Just like after the fatal battle between the Sons of Light. School well, started, and me hating to learn. Uh wasn't all up to it. I think, you know what, that sentence... <laughs> that sentence, school started and me hating to learn wasn't all up to it, speaks fucking volumes. I wasn't excited like the girls. What? Fine. I mean, the only reason kids come to is to see their friends and hang out with each other and, I don't know, learn. And, and like the girls. Full stop, no capital letter, because he doesn't like to learn. Then I could hear it again, but it was 12 in the afternoon. I only hear the hums at 12 at night. 12. Yeah. I was scared now and wanted to get away from this street. I showed my mother, but she just asked why a girl was singing in the middle of the moon. What? <laughs> my mother was batshit insane. I was about to say, my mother was high at the time. <laughs> then she started to hum with the girl, and my sister walked in holding the girl's hand. Sister walked in from the moon. Boy, don't you want to sing with us? She giggled. <laughs> I was about to run with my mother, but when I looked beside me, dot dot dot, she was dead. <laughs> her knife she was using to make dinner was now deep into her chest. I ran and ran just to find my father. He had a screwdriver in his eye. <laughs> Why not? I wanted to cry so badly, but needed to get away from this place. My sister walked in the room and she was still holding the girl's hand. My name is Luna. Don't you want to sing with us? 
Now I am typing this, uh, this should be a new paragraph. Now I am typing this, hoping that you'll all figure out a way to keep that blasted song out of your heads. The song that we don't know anything about. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. <laughs> That's old. It would be your best interest. No, it would be in your best interest. It would be your best interest in doing so. Remember, this person hates learning. That girl killed my family and I am next. Please, I am begging you. Don't sing with her. So don't sing at the moon. Uh, you know what? I, what? I was planning on singing at the moon right after we did this. So. Oh, yeah. If you do, you'll end up cursing your whole family just like my little sister did. Shh, she's here. No. 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 A... <laughs> Is he still typing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stay away from me. <laughs> if you're, spelt wrong, still reading this, sing with me, please. My name is Luna, and I will protect you from this cursed world. Giggle, don't you want to sing with me? I'm sorry, that end bit, is that supposed to be scary because that's just... Bullshit. Who can type that fast? If something it's was coming in the room. Like road. the ending of most like HP Lovecraft things where the guy's type goes, oh, and I hear the scraping of the monster at the door. It's like, why don't you just run away? Well, my mum's dead somehow. My father's dead. Quick, I'll run upstairs and type this. My life journal needs to know. <laughs> Absolutely. I've got to type this. This girl's coming at me. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh <laughs> Hello, if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you very much for watching and checking out this compilation of some very, very old videos we made. So that was the best of season one of Bad Crew Pasta. Feels like forever ago now, it was actually uh, 10 years ago, so a very, very long time. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Bad Crew Pasta was, for me, a unique experience. Uh, sometimes fun, often frustrating, uh, always interesting and it ran a lot longer than I expected it to. So if you'd like us to make uh, compilations for seasons two to six, let me know. For now though, if you do miss this show and uh, the strange kind of weird energy that it had and the commentary and everything, we do have another show that is quite similar, uh, which is called Movie Night. If you haven't watched it yet, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a similar show to this, except we watch movies instead. I'm gonna leave a link to the uh, the playlist of the first season. It's two episodes out uh, by the, at the time of releasing this. The third episode should be out next week. I hope you like that show, and if you don't, hey ho, there's always the old episodes of Bad Crew Pasta. Thanks for tuning in, and let me know in the comments what you think of the new show, for one thing, and also if you'd like more highlights uh, like this.